Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we cleared the Tower of the Gods and in this episode we will be ringing the bell. We don't really elaborate on this bell. Like another thing about this game that feels well I mean it, I guess it is unexplained but it feels like you know some stuff had to get left out or like we couldn't elaborate on done well Link Seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. That does not mean your trials have injured you. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready? Think? That's his rudder, not his prowl. Still. Dang. Wait, the water underwater? I just realized that. If this is supposed to be underwater, frozen in time, why is there water underneath the water? That doesn't make sense. Fortunately, there's not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you're able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtained in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Right. It's like everything's frozen in time, but even though it's frozen, I can still tread through the water. Which doesn't make any sense because we just sank under the water. I, I don't want Why would the portal be in the water and force us to go underwater if nothing down here is underwater? But the whole point is that like Hyrule got flooded and all the quote unquote islands are really mountaintops of actual Hyrule from before the flood. Like this is just taking me to a frozen point in time. So what what's the point of it being underwater if this part isn't underwater? It makes no sense. Alright Link. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it you must find the entrance to the basement. But the entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold. Firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. You know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? 
You'll find a clue in the shape of the heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. Yes, the her herald. Which I always thought a herald was, um... Like the, um... Uh, the person that proclaimed, like... The king... Decreeing something, or... Like, I don't know. But the herald... Yeah, yeah, that is what it is, because, um... Like in the Christmas song, like, hark the herald angels sing, like the herald is the guy that's like got those trumpets. So, this would be more like, um, the, uh, not the crest, but like, oh, what is it that knights used to have on their fields and like the, the banners and stuff? It had, it was like the different, um, family, like, I cannot think of the name. It wasn't crest, I don't think. I think it was, um... This is a cool room. This has each sage from Ocarina of Time. Over here, we have what looks like... Um... I guess it's just the Triforce. What's supposed to be behind it? Really make out... This is Ruto, obviously, the Water Sage. Raru, the Light Sage. Saria, the Forest Sage. Here's Ganon. Beast Ganon. Like, not even Ganondorf, just the full on beast. We got Darunia, the uh, Fire Sage. We have Impa, the. Would you call it Shadow Sage, or is it, um... I guess it'd be Shadow. It's not really... I don't know, see, her, the symbol above her head is Ika. It's the Eye of Truth, which I guess, I mean, they are the Shadow People. But they're supposed to be uh, protectors of the royal family. See, like, I don't think she's a Sage of Shadow, I think she's like a Sage of, um... Not the underworld, but like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, we have uh, Nabaru, uh, the Sage of uh, Spirit, I guess, or the Desert. And again, the Triforce. It almost looks like those things curling off are like ears, maybe. And then the things down at the bottom are like either hooves or... Um, nostrils, maybe? Like it's Ganon behind there? I don't know. Really. But I always like admiring those. Once again, just like a testament to all the work that's put into these games, which is why it bothers me so much that like there's so much left out and rushed in this game that 
It just seems out of character for Nintendo. They usually choose to delay their Zelda games to make them even better. Oh, I didn't even notice there was pictures on the ground. People praying or like pleading to the gods for help. That's awesome. I never noticed that before. Excellent link. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small. You know, just move some triangle blocks together. Come on. Now take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the master sword, the blade of your bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. See, again, the world above. Implying this is the world below. But it's frozen in time. And there's water down here. I, 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 I. It frustrates me when there's plot holes, especially with Zelda. And this is like the game that's just riddled with. So me taking the Master Sword out unfreezes the like deal, I guess, on the time period and reanimates everything. So then why is everything still underwater? It either brings it back to life and everything is flooded with the water because water is on top of it, or it brings it to life and sets everything to normal, which should make the water go down. Neither one is the case. But enough um, complaining about. You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to repel evil. Once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Alright, so now maybe now that these have more color, I'm going to make a little bit more out of it. Um. Light coming from the I I don't know. Why is his um emblem the Hylian Crest. Hers is right. Uh, that's the Deku symbol, that's not the forest uh, emblem. You can tell now there's like water and mountains in the background. And, if you look, the whole thing is risen up more, and that sun is the same sun that is above the Triforce. That one. That is sword. Doesn't really. Had much light on what those things could be at the bottom. Bring his symbols right. And also, this is just a random thing. Like, there's no symmetry. This is, I guess, is, is it directly in the back? I guess it's directly in the back. So maybe there's some symmetry. But one, two, three. And the other side is 
um, Arya, Raru, and Ruto. I guess that's right. That Shiga symbol is wrong though. And, oh, well, that's right, I guess. I don't know. see something dumb. Ever since I can remember, every Zelda game, pots are like, usually, for some reason, they're like, insta-kill. Watch this.
knew that would happen. Long last, all preparations are complete. You must return to me so that we can return by the same path that brought us here. The time has come to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Link. Alright, guys. I guess that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Subscribe already. It's free. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. We will be taking on the Forsaken Fortress now with the Master Sword. Oh, meant to pull the sword out. Didn't mean to get out of the boat. Well, just gonna end there. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye.